In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your countdown timer scene or how to set up your intro scene. Basically, with a countdown timer, like what you're watching right now, as you can see, I have this beautiful starting in or the stream is starting in two minutes kind of timer right here in OBS. I'm going to show you how to set up the right way. So let's get into it. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, you need to have an actual countdown timer. And this has to be a video file. And if you know how to make it yourself, you can go ahead and make it in something like Adobe Premiere Pro, or you can download some from the internet. And most of the time it's going to be an MP4 file. And that's what I actually recommend personally. Now, if you don't have the countdown timer, I'm going to show you a website, in fact, where you can get affordable countdown timers, like some other overlays that you can use to live stream. So basically you go to to stream tools with the z.com and once you get there this is what the website looks like now you want to make sure if you're looking for other overlays you can actually go ahead and browse some of other overlays that they have uh, you can go to animated overlays if you need an animated overlay and uh, have like a pack that will include a countdown timer like this one right here so as you can see there's a video preview here that will show you everything that you're gonna get okay some scenes and some other animated overlays but for the purpose of our video we can actually go to the countdown timer kind of menu and as you can see you're gonna have multiple countdown timers you can choose from now personally i like this one which is in the loop and i'm gonna click to it just to show you what it's gonna look like so if you click here they're gonna show you a kind of you know video preview here and this just to show you what it's gonna look like and as you can see this is an amazing countdown timer it comes with some music but you have to be subscribe to epidemic sound but you can add your own music if you don't want to have some copyright issues on your stream but this is what's gonna look like and i'm gonna show you how to set up the music and of course the countdown timer as well if you don't want to use the music that comes with the countdown timer from stream tools all right so once you're done you're gonna go ahead and of course uh, purchase the countdown timer once you find the perfect countdown timer and we're gonna go to obs and what we need to do is we're gonna go ahead as so mean we're starting from scratch so we're gonna go ahead and add a new scene so we hit the plus sign and i usually i call this one i call it intro timer all right and then i'm gonna hit okay again you can name it whatever you want and usually i'll make sure it's actually the first one so i'm gonna put it here be the first one all right and the next thing we need to do is we're gonna make sure that scene is actually selected and we're gonna hit the plus sign here and then we're gonna add a media source okay so the media source we can call it timer just timer you can call it whatever you want and i'm gonna go ahead and actually click okay and you want to make sure now because this is a timer you don't want it to loop so make sure you don't check this loop kind of box and then we're gonna go make sure local file is actually checked and hit browse and we're gonna go ahead and look for the countdown that we just downloaded from stream tools or again if you have it made from somewhere else that's fine as well so i'm gonna go ahead and go to where the countdown timer is actually is at and as you can see uh, usually when you download it it's gonna come in a zipped folder so you want to make sure you go to the folder right click to it and actually and zip it and once you have it unzipped it should show up like this so you have usually you have two versions one version without music and the other one with music now the version without music is the one you should use if you're not subscribed to epidemic sound if you are subscribed i'm gonna leave a link down below to subscribe to epidemic sound if you need the epidemic sound music but if you're not we're gonna use the one without the music and we can add our own music of course so we're gonna go ahead and check uh take the one without the music again the advantage of using the one with music it's just it's gonna be already synced with the music so you don't have to add your own music right so i'm gonna go ahead and actually click to that and hit open and hit okay and as you can see as soon as i click to it it's gonna start playing no problem and of course as you can see it has no music so this is gonna be boring you want to make sure your viewers get some music because it's just some video playing and a countdown timer so it's always good to have some music uh, with that what i'm gonna do is as you can see once you have it clicked on you can pause it you can even restart it you can kind of scrub through right so usually you want to make sure you put it at the beginning and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some music okay so i'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus sign and i'm gonna go ahead and hit media source and for this one i'm gonna call it music intro okay and i'm gonna hit okay i want to make sure for the music i want to make sure i loop it because 
it can loop so if it ends i want it to keep looping until i don't need any more so you want to make sure you check loop and then browse and then i'm gonna go ahead and actually add some of the music that i have again from epidemic sound but there's some other sites that you can get free music if you don't want to subscribe to epidemic sound and i'm gonna choose uh let me choose a track that i actually like that will go with uh an intro music something like super energetic but this is gonna depend on your vibe okay so let me try this here no not this one not this one so just found the music that i uh, kind of like for the you know that will go well with the countdown timer so i'm gonna go ahead and select that music and hit open and hit okay and as you can see the music is gonna start playing with the countdown timer now i can't hear the music right now and when you're streaming this is important you want to make sure you can actually hear the music so that you know what the people who are watching your stuff or who are watching your live stream are actually hearing so that's where you have to go to this music source and then right click to these three dots here okay under audio mixer okay and then you go to advanced audio properties and then go here really where it says music intro all right and you want to make sure you hit monitor and output and that way you're going to be able to hear what the people on the stream actually hearing in terms of music so now as you can see the countdown timer is actually playing no problem and once it's done playing usually you will go to your next scene which is like you talking or if you have guests on you go to a scene that will look like this or a scene that will look like this if you have three guests now if you want to know how to set up all these scenes you want to make sure you check out my next video because i'm going to show you step by step how to set up a full obs show in including your guest scenes including all this countdown timer uh, scenes including all the other scenes actually that you're going to need to build a full live streaming show here in obs so check out the video and i'll see you there guys take care